What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Kansas State just beat, de defeated TCU for the Big 12 championship. 31-28 in overtime. TCU should have kicked the damn field goal on fourth down, plain and simple. But it was Kansas State's fault that they had to go into overtime. Because they had the game won, man. One more dag going to stop, um, you know, but they let the quarterback run down the damn field on them, even after they got a uh, – after uh, TCU was called for a 15-yard offensive pass interference play. They let the guy run for 40 damn yards. After he made a 20-yard run, a 15-yard run, it, it, just bad defense. I don't know why these uh, defensive coordinators and offensive coordinators in college football make shit so hard. It's simple. Put a spy on it. If the spy don't get there, at least you try. But just not to put a spy on the damn quarterback – when he running up, running up the field or running down the field on you, it's damn ridiculous. But I tell you what, that damn quarterback took a beating today. He was taking some licks, I'm telling you. But uh, TCU, they've been coming back, winning games all season, but they can't get it done uh, this time. They almost got it done, though. They almost got it done. So uh, I expect TCU to have that four spot in the daggone playoff. So, uh I don't think they will put Alabama over TCU, being that TCU lost by three points in overtime. It just ain't going to happen, in my opinion. And trust me, you know, I want Alabama to get in. Well, part of me want Alabama to get in, and part of me don't because, uh, you know, Alabama ain't been playing good football, so it is what it is. But hats off. You got to take your hats off to uh, TCU even though they lost for what they did throughout the whole season. All those four quarter comebacks to put them in the position to play for the Big 12 championship and take your hat off to Kansas State, who lost to TCU by one point, you know, in the regular season. And uh, they came back from it. So uh, it is what it is. Both teams, you know, they, they both teams had some big plays, man. But I thought, I'll tell you what I thought, I thought that muff punt was going to be the doom of Kansas State. Because what, they had what, a, I think a 10-point lead, I believe 10, 11-point lead, and uh, dude muffed the punt, and TCU went on in the score. So it is what it is, man. That shit, shit happens, man. But let's talk about these damn playoffs. Uh, you know, Georgia going to be in automatic. Win or lose, which I don't think they're going to lose to LSU. They about to start this game in a couple of minutes. But uh, Georgia's not losing to LSU. Then you got, who else you got? You had uh, Ohio State to jump in there. So, uh, I don't know. TCU was the was the number three team. I don't know. Ohio State might go back to number four, even, I mean, to number three, even though they didn't play. Even though they didn't play and they'll put TCU at number four. All right. The number two team. Who is the number two team? I, I, I done damn forgot. But anyway, I don't think it's going to be no damn changes, man. I don't think it's going to be, be no damn changes. So it is what it is. Alabama, we're just going to be sitting at the house, watching the playoff, waiting on, you know, what bowl game we're going to play in. Plain and damn simple because I, I don't see no way that – uh oh, Michigan. Michigan number two team. Hell, they're going to beat Purdue, but if they lose, it won't make no different, difference either. So it is what it is. Georgia, Michigan, they are a shoe in. They in there, plain and simple. Ohio State, being that, being that, uh, being that what's the name law last night. Ohio State just gonna move on up in there. USC, they law last night. Ohio State moving up in there. TCU lose. I think they gonna be at number four, plain and simple. Cause I don't believe that they will put a two loss Alabama team in there over a one loss TCU. And their only loss is to the Big 12 champions, okay, by three points. I, I know Alabama, they lost, they, they lost, you know, two games by a total of four points on the road. But, no, I don't care what no, Ala, no Alabama fan think about, you know, them putting Alabama in the playoff. It's not going to happen. Plain, at least I don't think it's going to happen. This game was too close. I said it last night. If TCU lose big, 
then maybe they would have put them in the playoff, but it ain't going to happen. They didn't, They lost by three damn points, and they in there, in my opinion. It shouldn't even be a damn discussion. It shouldn't be a discussion. You know, I, I read an article today about Miami, not Miami, but Alabama. Yeah, they lost two games by a total of four points, but did, are they, did they play playoff caliber football any time during the regular season? No, they didn't. Are they still having issues that they had at the beginning of the season? Were they still having those same issues at the end of the season? Yes, they was. So, discipline issues. Discipline, discipline, discipline. But it's on coaching. It's on coaching. So, it is what it is. But uh, congratulations. Congratulations to uh, to Kansas State. Congratulations for to TCU also on a successful season, and they still will be in the playoffs no matter what happens. So, plain and damn simple. So, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Congratulations, Georgia. Congratulations, Michigan. Congratulations, Ohio State. Congratulations, TCU. So, first time the Big Ten they got two teams in the, uh, in the playoffs. It's usually SEC, but not this time. So it is what it is, but hold on. We had uh, two losses in the top four on championship weekend. This is why I say championship weekend got its pros and its cons. Because championship weekend can get you knocked out the playoff hunt. Just as USC. Plain and damn simple. But anyway, uh, we finna watch this damn SEC Championship game. I'm about to go live. So uh, y'all take it easy and roll damn tight.